Hey, I'm going to show you how to make your GLB files a lot more optimized for VR, AR, WebXR, mobile devices, in-browser stuff, anywhere where you need highly performant assets. You can use these free tools to maximize performance. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is this tool that was released for free from Paradowski Creative. It's called Zen Compress and it's awesome. It's linked in the description below. First thing you want to do is to download it just by clicking on the latest version here and save this zip file. Once that's done downloading, go ahead and extract it and then open up that folder where you'll see the exe. But first we need an asset. So hopping back over to Blender, I'm going to select this asset and I'll just export that out as a GLTF. So I'm gonna export this a few different ways just to show you the different compression types compared to the original, but you will only need to export this once. I will export out a GLB of the original. That's the signage original. I'm going to include only the selected objects and underneath data here, I'm just going to make sure that we're not double compressing the materials by setting the images to automatic, which is default and not JPEG. Popping back over here to the browser, I'm at gltf.report and I will drag and drop that original GLB file in here. There it is. And it looks like the disk space is 1.6 megabytes, the VRAM is 11.2 and the draw calls is just one. If we want to take a closer look, we can just pop open the metadata here to see exactly what files are making up those sizes. But there we have it. That's the original. Now popping back over here to Blender, these are the steps that you'll take. I'm going to export out a GLTF now. Make a new folder here, call this signage UASTC. That's the first compression method we will use. And I will create a GLTF. Again, include the selected objects. Again, make sure that it's not being double compressed. This time I'm going to export out a GLTF separate. So it creates a GLTF file, a .bin file, and the textures all in this folder. So I will export that out. Shouldn't take long. And then I will open up Zen Compress. Don't be surprised if this takes a second. Once that opens up, we're gonna to navigate to the file path, which I didn't rename this properly. This should be signage UASTC. That's okay, it's in the UASTC folder. I'm going to import that, there it is. There's our asset and it's way off in the middle of nowhere because it's actually way off in the middle of nowhere in that scene. So that's to be expected. And I will export this out as KTX2 UASTC and leave everything else at default. There are two different compression types, UASTC and ETC1S. I'm going to show you the difference between both. The short answer is that UASTC is less compression, higher quality, and ETC1S is a lot more compression and it's a lot lower quality. You can use the different compressions for different techniques. If you have a lot of gradients or a lot of text, I would highly recommend UASTC, but for big, broad, flat colors, ETC1S is definitely the way to go. And if performance is of absolute key, even over clarity of textures, then ETC1S is the way to go. There's also KTX2 and Basis. You might be, you might be wondering what the difference between KTX2 and Basis is. That's a great question. One that I recently asked myself, and if I figure out the answer, I will include it in the description below. That's a great question, one that I recently asked myself, and if I'm able to figure out the answer, I will include it in the description below. But for now, we're just going to carry on with KTX2. So I'll select KTX2 UASTC. You can see that I can choose what maps I would like it to compress. By default, normal maps are not going to compress because when you compress normal maps, they look really garbled. But diffuse, roughness, metallic, those should all compress nicely. We're not going to see a huge compression difference in this asset because it's very small and it only has two maps and only one of them is going to be compressed, but we should still see a difference. So I'm going to select my export path, which is the same place, and I will call this signage KTX2 UASTC. This can take longer. You might get a couple warnings like this. You can be brave, run them. This might take a couple seconds especially for really large GLTF files, this can take a few minutes. All right, that's done. Let's take a look at how it performs. Again, here's the original, and I'll just drag this new GLB into the GLTF report. So the VRAM size has gone from 11.2 to 7. While the disk space did go up a little bit, the GPU space decreased by 38%. This might be a slightly longer load time, which frankly is pretty negligible at these sizes, but the performance is optimized pretty drastically. Now let's look at the quality difference. Here's a close-up of the original and the compressed. You'd have to have a sharper eye than mine to see any meaningful difference there. Let's try ETC1S. Again, gonna hop back over here to Blender and I'm going to export out a new GLTF. I'm gonna put this into a new folder called signage ETC1S. I'm gonna name it properly this time, include selected and export. Pop back over here to Zen Compress, navigate to that new folder structure, bring that in. There it is, way over there. All right, going to set this to KTX2 ETC1S, set my export path, 
signage ktx2 etc1s then export gonna live bravely and just click run this took a lot less time now let's see how it performs dragging and dropping the etc1s glb in and there we go this one has the same file size as the original and even more vram compression if we zoom way in here i think there's some noticeable differences between the original and etc1s particularly these ghost pixels that hover around some of the sharp corners on the text and some of the square patches that you see in the gradients here in the original it's a lot cleaner but if i zoom out here we've nearly cut the gpu usage in half for a very slight decrease in quality now let's see how they look in hubs i'm just going to create a demo room here join this room i will drag each one in here's the etc1s that pops up pretty quick looks good to me it's a little bit garbly down here here's the uastc also loads up really fast I think that garbliness is actually the original JPEG compression on it. Looks about the same, really. And here's the original. Maybe a tiny bit cleaner? Honestly, they all look fine. This one was a decrease in VRAM by 30%. This one was a decrease in VRAM by nearly 50%. Thanks to Sage and Emma who left comments requesting this tutorial. And if you run into any issues, just let me know in the comments below. There's also a tutorial on Colin Freeman's YouTube channel, which goes much more in depth. And if this video was useful to you, you know what to do that would help me a lot. That's it. Bye.